the annals of history, Marcus Aurelius, formerly the most influential figure in the known world, left an indelible mark through his steadfast commitment to leading a virtuous life in accordance with Stoic philosophy. Diverging from the indulgent lifestyle of numerous Roman emperors, he chose to abstain from the abundant pleasures at his disposal, refraining from excessive wine consumption and spectating sadistic events at the Colosseum. Driven by a profound desire to fulfill the mission entrusted to him by fortune, revolving around serving humanity, Marcus Aurelius held an unwavering commitment to realizing his purpose. To achieve this, he recognized the necessity of diminishing concern for matters lacking worthiness or wisdom, and it's crucial to note that such matters were quite abundant. One of the fundamental concepts in Stoicism, articulated by Epicurus and Cardian, is the schism between things we control and do not control. Marcus Aurelius exemplified this concept by recognizing that most, if not all, things beyond our own actions are not within our control. This, however, doesn't mean renouncing the world. Instead, Stoics believe in being realistic about our limited influence on external events. By doing so, we avoid creating unnecessary emotional burdens for ourselves. When life becomes painful, it often indicates that we invest our emotions in matters beyond our control. In doing so, we inadvertently grant these matters the authority to manipulate and control us, like puppeteers. Paradoxically, we then blame these puppeteers for pulling our strings, failing to realize that we have given them the power to do so. However, by disengaging our emotional investment in these matters, we strip them of their influence over us, granting ourselves the serenity to remain undisturbed. For Marcus Aurelius, being unperturbed by things outside of his control allowed him to cope with the many responsibilities and challenges he faced as an emperor. It enabled him to focus on the task he believed he was given by the gods. For Epicurus, it meant freedom, a way to focus on goals that do matter. For others, it could simply be a path to a happy, carefree life. In his Meditations, Marcus Aurelius repeatedly differentiates between the present, past and future. Within each category, the ancient Roman emperor imparts valuable insights into how we often care too much in the wrong ways or about the wrong things. As Seneca eloquently articulated, we often endure more distress within the confines of our imagination than in the actuality of our experiences. This assertion underscores the notion that our thoughts serve as the wellspring of our suffering. When we direct our attention to the future, our imagination frequently runs rampant, conjuring up myriad scenarios of potential events most of which are unlikely to materialize. In anticipation, we contemplate strategies to navigate these potential outcomes, all the while trembling in apprehension due to our uncertainty about how the future will ultimately unfold. What happens is sometimes what we anticipate, but in many other instances, fortune surprises us, overwhelming us with events we couldn't have foreseen. Consider a scenario where one might have dedicated years to meticulously planning and saving for a well-deserved retirement, only to be confronted, just as they approach the threshold of their golden years, with a devastating cancer diagnosis that grants mere months to live. The mere possibility of such events frequently plunges individuals into ceaseless anxiety. The spectrum of potential outcomes ranges from best-case scenarios to worst-case scenarios. These dire consequences are undeniably within the realm of possibility, but as long as they aren't happening in the present, we cannot deal with them. They only exist in our thoughts, and the future only bothers us because we think about it as it does not exist outside the mind. Marcus Aurelius started each day with a form of self-examination, reflecting on values, goals, and challenges he might encounter. This habit, known as morning self-assessment, set the foundation for the entire day, helping to develop self-awareness and understanding. 
Initiating the day with a few moments of self-reflection, considering values and intentions, is a practice that aligns with Stoic principles. Voluntary discomfort is another Stoic practice that Marcus Aurelius advocated for. By embracing discomfort and difficulties willingly, individuals build resilience and learn to care less about minor annoyances in life. This could involve taking cold showers, fasting for a day, or walking in the rain. The Stoic philosophy encourages individuals to choose discomfort over comfort, recognizing that enduring challenges voluntarily can strengthen one's character and resolve. Maintaining a journal is a powerful tool for self-reflection and self-improvement. Marcus Aurelius used his work as a personal journal to record his thoughts and insights. Starting your own journal to document reflections on life's challenges and your journey to care less about them is a practice aligned with Stoic philosophy. Taking time each day to write down thoughts and experiences, reflecting on how you responded to difficulties, contributes to personal growth and self-awareness. Stoic philosophy also teaches us to pause before responding. When something triggers you, take a deep breath, step back mentally, and choose a rational response over an emotional one. The pause and respond technique, when practiced in daily situations, especially when feeling angry or upset, aligns with Stoic principles of rationality and self-control. Stoic philosophy emphasizes the pursuit of virtue as the path to a meaningful life. Marcus Aurelius often challenged himself to embody virtues such as courage, wisdom, and compassion. Following his example, individuals can set ethical goals for themselves, choosing a virtue to focus on each week or month and actively seeking opportunities to practice it. This aligns with Stoic teachings, as the Stoics believe that a virtuous life leads to true happiness and fulfillment. Life's pains come in various forms, from minor annoyances to major disasters. Stoic thinking equips us to face these challenges with patience and composure. Stoic philosophy encourages us to view difficulties as opportunities for growth. When life puts obstacles in your path, see them as stepping stones to becoming a stronger and wiser person. Whenever you encounter failure or challenges, ask yourself what you can learn from the experience. Marcus Aurelius emphasizes that it is not the burden of the future that weighs us down, but rather the weight of the present moment. Suffering arises from events in the future that actually occur in the present. Ironically, the future never exists in the present, because when we face it, it becomes the present. Therefore, the suffering related to the future stems from our current worries and concerns. When we overly worry about future events, life eventually becomes painful as we experience them in our imagination, letting them dictate our present. Regarding excessive concern for the future, Marcus Aurelius provides valuable insights. He advises, never let the future disturb you. You will meet it, if you have to, with the same weapons of reason which today arm you against the present. He emphasizes the idea that if one can navigate the present effectively, they can also face the challenges of the future using the same tools, reason and rationality. By not excessively worrying about what might happen, we conserve mental energy and emotional well-being for the challenges we encounter in the present. In examining the past, Marcus Aurelius offers a pragmatic approach. While acknowledging the potential value of learning from past events, he emphasizes the inability to change what has transpired. The past holds no power over us unless we allow our emotions to be tethered to bygone events. Stoicism teaches us to view past experiences not as unchangeable entities, but as opportunities to shape our present reactions. Marcus Aurelius contends that our reactions to past events are within our control, allowing us to focus on virtues like justice, generosity, and wisdom. One of the core tenets of Stoicism is the acceptance of the impermanence of life. 
Marcus Aurelius recognized the transient nature of all experiences, encouraging individuals to care less about life's hardships and appreciate the present moment. Practicing mindfulness, gratitude, and acceptance are stoic tools that help shift our focus from life's difficulties to its blessings. Marcus Aurelius underscores the importance of viewing challenges as opportunities for personal growth, fostering resilience in the face of adversity. Marcus Aurelius's legacy extends beyond his writings, serving as a guide for individuals seeking a stoic way of life. His role as a leader is particularly noteworthy as he exemplified ethical leadership by prioritizing virtues such as justice, knowledge, courage, and patience. Stoicism, under Marcus Aurelius's influence, is not merely an intellectual pursuit, it is a transformative lifestyle. His teachings encourage us to apply Stoic principles, not only in times of adversity, but as a lifelong practice. Stoicism in leadership involves making decisions based on reason and virtue, rather than being swayed by emotions or external pressures. A Stoic leader practices self-discipline, remains calm in the face of challenges, and prioritizes the well-being of their team and community. Marcus Aurelius's leadership style, informed by Stoic principles, can inspire leaders in various fields to lead with wisdom, integrity, and compassion. In conclusion, Stoicism, as elucidated by Marcus Aurelius, offers timeless lessons on navigating the complexities of life. It provides a transformative way of thinking and living, encouraging individuals to care less about trivial matters and find completeness in self-discovery and personal growth. Marcus Aurelius's wisdom invites us to embody virtues, cultivate resilience and appreciate the present moment. As we continue our stoic journey, may we discover enduring peace, boundless wisdom, and profound serenity guided by the eternal lessons of Marcus Aurelius. In the tapestry of life, his teachings remain as a biakon, illuminating the path toward a more meaningful and purposeful existence. Stoicism, through the lens of Marcus Aurelius, serves not only as a philosophical framework, but as a practical guide for living a life of virtue, wisdom, and tranquility. As we navigate the currents of existence, may we draw upon the wellspring of Stoic principles, finding solace and strength in the timeless wisdom of an emperor who, amidst the chaos of his time, found serenity within himself. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of Stoic philosophy through the wisdom of Marcus Aurelius. If you found value in these insights and would like to delve deeper into the realms of self-discovery, resilience and virtuous living, consider subscribing to our channel. Together, let's embark on a journey towards a more meaningful and purposeful existence. And until next time, live wisely and embrace the Stoic way.